good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, welcome back to another video. Okay, so today, what we're gonna go through is a home chest workout with no equipment needed at all. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through seven exercises to do to work your chest at home with no equipment needed. Not gonna lie, it's hard when you haven't got equipment to develop the chest. This is where we need to get into sort of hypertrophy, okay? Where it's tearing down the muscle and then along with your diet being correct and enough protein and other essentials that come in that you put in your body that will help rebuild and then they become stronger and thicker. The exercise we're gonna do in this workout will make sure that hypertrophy really happens, okay? And really tears the muscle. Let's get into the first movement. It is just a normal push-up. Making sure when you're doing this push-up, you're coming all the way down to the floor and pushing all the way up, okay? Making sure that everything from your shoulder all the way to your feet is straight and you're keeping your core engaged. If you don't keep your core engaged, you're either gonna, your hips are gonna slump or they're gonna spike up, okay? We don't want that. You want everything to be in line. Okay, making sure that you lock out at the top and go all the way to the floor, keeping your arms under the shoulder or just a bit wider, okay, and keeping your elbows coming back along the body and not out. So the second exercise is a press up hold. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna do a press up and come all the way down. At this point, you're gonna hold it anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. What this is doing is time under tension. Okay, so unlike just like a normal push up, where the eccentric movement and the concentric movement are keeping on going, okay, this is gonna hold and it's gonna stretch and tear all the muscles when you're down there, okay, the pectoral muscles. You're gonna hold that for 15 to 30 seconds, whatever's best for you. Try and increase it each time you do this workout. The next exercise we're gonna be doing is circle. So, what we're gonna be doing is going round in a circle doing press up. Different variations of press up during each movement, okay? So one could be close, one could be normal, one could be wide. You are gonna have to put your hands together each time and then separate them and go round and go round. If you don't have enough to do a circle, do a certain amount of reps in one direction and then make sure you go back round in the other direction. This is isolating one part either the left or right pectoral. Following that, this explosive negative push-ups. What you're doing is a normal push-up, but on the way down, which is your negative movement, okay, you're taking it nice and slow, probably about three to five seconds, okay? Once you're down in that press-up position, you're then gonna explode up and then slowly come down on the negative again, okay? So, slowly come down, explode up, and then slowly come down again, okay? What you're looking to do is hit 10 to 15 reps. This will help your normal push-ups. Next exercise is incline diamond push-ups, okay? And I did say incline. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands on a chair or a surface like so, okay? And then when you go down, it's a normal push-up, push back up and then turn your hands inwards okay down up turn okay and it's going to create that squeeze in the middle okay to get that blood pumping in there right so down squeeze down up squeeze together okay again you're looking to do 10 to 15 working reps so the next exercise that we're going to be doing is an elevated or decline push up this is where your feet are on something elevated to put more body weight onto your arms when you're doing a push-up. As you can see in the video, my legs are up on a chair. There is more body weight going onto the muscles that I'm training. And last of all, okay, this is probably the hardest one, but it's gonna really hit that hypertrophy of what we want to do, okay? So it's called a 30-30. You're going to go do a negative push-up for 30 seconds until you get down in the press-up position on the floor. 
Then what you're going to do is push back up for 30 seconds. Make sure you keep your form as strict as possible. If you don't do that, then it's not gonna get the desired effect of what you want it to do. If 30 seconds are negative, 30 seconds coming back up. So the next page is gonna be that workout. It will also be in the description below. If you can like, subscribe, and comment down below of what you want me, Ash Austin Fitness, Right. Now, to do next, if you've got any queries, please email me. I don't mind answering your questions. Hope you'll enjoy the video. See you in the next one.